Hello all, welcome to Sivan's SAP SD training in association with uh, AMB Techno Solutions, Nijampet, Hyderabad. So today I would like to explain you all about the importance of the customer material information record, that is CMIR, after the customer master data and material master data, and the importance and the significance of the customer material info record. So what exactly the customer material info record means is, the customer will have his own material number or part number for the SAP material number. So he can he can choose, he, he, may, he may give, he can give the alphanumerical key or directly he can give the numerical number also, whatever the SAP material is already there in the system. So we have to maintain as per the customer's request, his part number in the system in the form of customer material information record. So these details will be stored in the table K and MT. So where we will get all the, whatever the customers are having. So whatever the materials have been maintained for those customers as a customer material, then we can extract the data from the table K and MT. So I will give you an example here. So the SAP material number or SAP part number. So in, in EDA terminologies, majority of the times we use SAP part number. Hence that is why I'm using it as SAP material or SAP part number. And the customer can have his own name as REAJ100, whereas the customer, the SAP material or SAP part number is MCRMX1000. So, as shown in this uh, example, you can see this one. I'm going to show it to you in the uh, SAP screens also, and how, how this uh, customer material information record plays a major role, and what are all the areas it, uh, it has got its own uh, significance in the system. So the transaction codes we use here are VD01 to create, VD02 to change, and VD03 to display. So this customer material info record has got uh, uh, very good uh, uh, functionalities like it gives high, the system gives high priority in determining the delivering plan from the customer material info record, delivery priority from the customer material info record, and minimum delivery quantity also from the customer material information record. So I was talking about the EDI. So here, the customer material info record will play a major role in EDI orders. That means EDI orders are nothing but inbound or incoming orders. That means which comes through the EDI IDOCs and then we'll, we, uh, they will create into SAP as an inbound orders. But it will create as a sales order only. So whenever the field mapping is correctly in place, that is like, um, uh, when, when, whenever you, are, you wanted to create uh, through EDI orders, when, while creating the EDI orders, uh, there must be some sort of uh, validations will happen in the system, like uh, the customer number, uh, KNMT entry, that is customer material info record, ship to party details, and the plant value. So all these parameters, whenever the customer is placing the order through EDI, it should match with SAP. So then only it will create the sales order in SAP. Otherwise, it will go to the failed status, that is error status. So inbound order IDOC status in SAP is uh, 53, whereas uh, the failed status is 51. Suppose if that particular IDOC got failed due to the non-maintenance of the customer material information record, so the, the user will maintain the particular uh, details for the particular material in KNMT table uh, so that again, when he saves that particular customer material info record in the system, and then when reprocess this, this particular inbound IDOC, the system will process it. So the IDOC will become successful. So that is why customer material information record has got high importance in EDA orders. That is incoming orders or inbound orders, we can say that one. So we were talking about the importance and significance of customer material information record. So this is, this plays a, a key factor in plant determination. Here, so the plant determination means whenever we create a sales order, so during the sales order creation, the system should automatically propose the plant based on the settings which we do in the system. So while creating the customer master data, if you, if you have maintained the delivering plant at uh, sales area data shipping tab, then the system gives the first priority. If it is not maintained in the customer material info record, then the system gives first priority to customer master data, then material master data. Otherwise, we can determine the plant manually. So that means what if all these three areas like 
customer master data there is no delivering plant and material master data also there is no delivering plant then the system gives high priority to the customer material information record so now i am going to show you in the system how it going to it is going to create so so we can I, I was explaining you about the transaction code vd51 so you can directly type vd51 here and go to the creation mode of the customer material info record or else you can come via path also as you we all know that all the transaction codes and uh, uh, master data starts from sap easy access so click on logistics sales and distribution master data and not like under business partner or products or conditions it will be there under the agreements so here you can see the customer material information record so vd51 to create vd52 to change and vd53 to display i am going to click on vd51 so my customer is 500500 and my sales organization zmc1 my distribution channel zn so i am just pressing enter here i wanted to give the material as uh, sap this is sap part number this is customer material number so sap part number is mcr mx 1000 and the uh, the customer material is raj 100 so in this way so you can give whatever the naming convention you wanted to give your name or he, if he gives the seven digits alpha numeric key or seven digits only alpha only numerics numerical key then you can select accordingly so here especially i have been continuously telling you all about the customer material or customer part number sap material or sap part number you can call it as sap part number also so in this record i wanted to show you the functionalities uh, which are which are relevant to us which are very very important whenever you are facing any interview definitely there will be a question on customer material info record and and plant determination that i am going to show you in the system see here see the customer material has come you wanted to enter customer description yes you can enter um, uh, like uh, XO mobiles, such term PECSO. And then here, see, I am giving the delivering plant here right now. So, what is going to happen? We will see. We already discussed that the system gives high priority to the values such as delivering plant, delivery priority, and minimum delivery quantity. Minimum delivery quantity. I am giving here 25 as minimum delivery quantity and delivery priority as it is it is already there as high but i don't want to do that i'll put it as 05 that is two days so so here you can see here now i'm going to save it and and one more thing i would like to highlight here whatever the partial deliveries per item that also you can control over here like whatever the customer master data i'm going to show you the customer master data also So in this customer master data, sales area data tab, if you go there under the shipping, see here the delivery priority I have chosen here as 01 high and delivering plant is blank here. And material master data also I'm going to show you where the delivering plant is blank. That should be blank only. So relevant uh, views, you can select it from the material master data. The plant ZM0, ZM10, ZMC1, and ZN. Go to the display mode. Here you can see uh, from the sales org one delivering plant. Here you can see that the delivering plant has been not maintained over here. See we, whether the system determines the plant or not into the sales order when we create the sales order. Before we are going to create the sales order, first we have to make sure that we have to save this customer material number that is. R R A J 100 is the customer material, whereas SAP material is MC or MX 1000, Micromax 2 GB RAM and 16 GB ROM material, which we are doing. 
So I'm just going to the uh, details again. So Raj 100 customer material, which we have given correctly. The delivering client we have given here the attempt 10, delivery priority as five and minimum delivery quantity. This will reflect in the delivery. These two will be reflected in the delivery. This plant will be reflected in the sales order. So this, this is partial delivery item, whatever is there already in the uh, customer master data. If at all you wanted to overcome, overwrite, so these values are maintained already and then you are maintaining the values over here, then the system will give priority to this one only instead of these values which we maintain in the customer master data. So let me come back and then save it. So I have created the uh, customer material info record for this uh, transaction. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a sales order. So this is my sales order, uh, customized to sales document type. And then I'm just uh, going to the values to be entered here, sold to party and ship to party. PO number is uh, optional and Micromax 1000. And I'm giving here five quantity. See, I have uh, created one more uh, purchase order earlier, sorry, sales order. So with the same purchase order number. So that is why the system has prompted you with this error. The purchase order number in document number 20476 already exists. So instead of that one, you can give the other one. See, now it won't uh, give the error. See, the plant has been determined over here. Automatically, the plant has been determined though the delivering plant is not maintained at material level at customer master data level. So the system will give high priority to the, plan, the customer material information record. So now I'm just saving it. So I'm going to deliver V03. So uh, before going to VA03 also, I will go to the shipping tab. Shipping conditions, which is correctly populated from the customer master as 01. You can see here in the customer master, see in the customer master that is shipping conditions 01 is there. The same has been populated to the sales order also. Okay. So the, but in the, in our uh, uh, customer material info record, we have maintained in a, a different way. That is what exactly it is. See the shipping conditions here, it is like uh, uh, shipping conditions. Okay. That is delivery priority here. We have maintained as five. So we are going to see the delivery priority in the delivery document and the shipping tab of the line item. If you go there, you can see here the plant also and shipping point determination also completed. The plant has been picked up with reference to that one. So whatever the details are there in the customer master data, those details have been copied to here also. And see here, the delivery priority to our line item, we have given here it as delivery priority five and here the same which has been given in the customer material before record as five. And in the customer master data, when you observe with customer master data, it is zero one. Hence, the system has given high priority to the customer material information record for the values like delivering plant, delivery priority and the delivering quantity also. Now we are, we are successfully seeing this one. We have seen these uh, values importance, how the system has proposed into the sales order. Now I wanted to create the sales order. So I'll just sales order where it is. So I'm going to uh, create the delivery. So we will see the what, what happens if you no schedule lens that is okay. It is 12 feature date. So here, see, check the notes in the log. So what quantity I have maintained in the customer material for it, 25 minimum delivery quantity. Okay. So now I am going to the error log, read it, error log. Here you can see delivery quantity is less than minimum delivery quantity, 25 each. See the value which we have maintained in the customer material info record has been populated to the delivery. So this is related to delivery. So it has populated, it has given pop-up in the 
delivery document and delivery priority also i'll show you in the delivery priority here administration you can see here delivery priority as 5 2 day so the same thing which is which is populated from the customer material info record so this plant also plays a major role while creating the edi orders so based on that one if that particular value is not maintained here then the system will not pro, uh, process the sales order and create the sales order into SAP system, which is coming from the customer system, that is EDI subsystem. So this is the importance and significance of the customer material information record. So I would like to highlight here uh, this, these points like uh, plant determination. So the system gives high priority, first priority to the customer material info record. If it is not found here, then it will go to the customer master data. And if it is not found at customer master data, then it will go to material master data. If all these three places, if the part plant is not maintained, then it will go to the, then we can manually determine the plant. So we were, we have already discussed that, that the system gives high priority to the values which we maintained in the customer material info record, that is delivering plant, delivery priority and minimum delivery quantity and it plays a key role in the EDI orders. And this is how we have maintained here. And I wanted to show you the table also. So you have to check any order comes, if that particular customer, if there is no material is available, the customer, whether the customer material is maintained or not, uh, then we can come to this um, table. We can, uh, we can confirm whether it is available or not. See, for this particular customer, how many um, customer materials have been maintained? That is, customer material is KD mat. The field name is KD mat. I'm just executing it here. Yeah, see, I have created around five entries, five materials, SAP part numbers, and five uh, customer part numbers. So these are the customer part numbers, and these are the SAP part numbers. See delivery priority five and delivery quantity 25 for the first material which I have given. The same has been reflected into the sales order as well as the delivery creation also, which we have already seen it. So this is the KNMT table in real time, which is very, very useful. Whenever you get into the system, you can just try KNMT table, how many number of entries will be there. There are thousands and thousands of entries would be maintained nowadays because they are all almost all the clients they are into EDA, they are into EDA orders, that is why. Okay, this is all about the, uh, what you call customer material info record. So thanks for the uh, encouragement, which you have shown by viewing my um, videos, which I have uh, prepared in short time. And uh, uh, thanks a lot for the comments also. So more videos to come, stay tuned with us. Uh, thanks for watching the videos and please subscribe. Thank you all. Thank you.